As you can see, the disc light is very flat, very thin. There's not a whole lot to it, but it's simple and effective. Here on the back, you can see the two keyhole slots that'll attach it to the junction box and your typical three wires, hot, neutral, and ground. The plastic diffuser just Next twists off. A look at the inside of the light. First, we twist off the plastic diffuser, which is in the center. It only turns a few degrees, then you can lift it out. And you can see it has three little hook-shaped things, which fit in those three slots. Inside, in the center, are 14 LEDs, the little yellow squares, and all the electronics. The trim ring and the backing plate are all one piece of metal. That's all there is to it. Now let's wire it. Wiring is simple and conventional, hot, neutral, and ground. Wired to your box, obviously with the power off. Then we just set it down and get it on two screws, try to anyway, and twist it into place. From there, tighten down the screws. And then put the diffuser back on. Set it in place till the clips click into place. Rotate slightly, and that's it. Installed. I've installed it on a bench so that it's easier to show you just how thin it is. We're gonna come down to the side and you'll be able to see that it's very, very, very flush. It's maybe an inch top to bottom. There we are right at the edge of the drywall, the sheetrock and you can see it's very flush. It's great in a room where the light is just for illumination and you don't want it to call attention to itself. There you have it.